Question, Uncle Durrider, please do a video on Tim Noakes. He is a local paleo primal BS promoter here in South Africa, and everyone sees him in authority nutrition. Whenever I try to explain to people about high carb, they just say, oh, but Tim Noakes says, then it doesn't matter what I say after that. It just doesn't register. Haha. <laughs> Much appreciated. Good one, Paul. That's a great question. Tim Noakes, fantastic author about running and stuff like that, law of running, a real legend in the sport of running in terms of writing books. When it comes to nutrition though, <laughs> Tim forgot his shoes, man. He's running on broken glass with bare feet. He's running on broken glass with his buttocks and his hands. Promoting a low carb diet. Now let me guess who what book Tim's read. Now I've got nothing personal against Tim Noakes. I'm just sharing my comments and criticisms. And I've got nothing personal against Lauren Cordain or Mark Sisson or Gary Torbs or all those people who promote this Dr. Atkins gimmicky fad diet, paleo primal low carb bullshit nonsense that is just dangerous to the health. So anyway, Tim Noakes is quoting Laura Crudane who's overweight, Gary Torbs who's overweight, Mark Sisson who, I won't get started on that one. You know, I mean, it's just this gimmick, and Dr. Atkins who was 258 pounds at time of death and when they did the autopsy report, his wife said, yes, we can confirm chronic heart disease blocked arteries, arthrosclerosis, look it up, check it out. Tim Noakes says he, should, he shouldn't eat more than 50 to 75 grams of carbs per day. It sounds like a Mark Sisson soundbite, doesn't it? What a f load of crap. I've done a lot of videos about that one. That is nonsense. 50 to 75 grams of carbs per day. That's two to three bananas a day. That, that's it. You just got to be in ketosis the rest of the time. Do you know how dangerous ketosis is? Look up ketoacidosis. Can you imagine the amount of binging you're going to be doing if you're trying to eat that many, that many carbohydrates? You're going to be at that ice cream parlor like Mark Sisson and Rob Wolf. <laughs> Check this photo out. I mean, look, there's nothing personal against Mark Sisson and Rob Wolf, but I'm saying that promoting this diet of such low carbs is going to have people with Ben and Jerry's like you guys in fucking no time. That's nonsense. Let's get real. And let's look at the science, shall we? The science, Dr. Bernard. You know, this is the books you want to read, Tim Noakes. You can claim you've got some diabetes issues. Check this book out, man. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. If you've got blood sugar issues, don't consult a caveman. Get up to speed. It's 2012, brother. Dr. McDougall, the starch solution. Get your ass on a plane. Go to Kenya and have a look what people eat. And how many diabetes issues do they have? Well, the people are eating low fat, low protein, high carb. You won't see diabetes issues. You won't see excess weight issues. Eat like a Kenyan to run like a Kenyan, as we all know. Go to China, get a world ticket. Go to China and go to rural China and have this book with you. Take your binoculars, spy on people what they eat. Check it out. You talk about heart disease, check out Dr. Esselstein's book. Look at this one, heartattackproof.com, yeah? Check this out, reversing heart disease. There's a good photo in here. Now, this is, I like to use clinical science here, clinical data versus some paleo primal low carb bro science nonsense. Let's get with the real stuff here. Doug Graham, man. Check out Doug Graham's work, 801010, and this one, Nutrition Athletic Performance. You ain't going to be doing nothing on 50 to 75 grams of carbs a day. The only thing you're going to be doing is binging at night time on chocolate and all sorts of nonsense, and then you go, oh, I've got a couple of carbs back more. And that's just a vicious cycle. Get rid of the nonsense, eat real food in real amounts. Get rid of the fucking dog food, the cat food, the ice cream, the junk. Get fruits and vegetables in your diet. Go to Kenya and see what they eat. There's corn, ugali, rice, things like that. It ain't, man, this is, I don't know what to say about this one. Tim Noakes, man, the law of running. <laughs> Fuck, what is happening to people, man? We've got these runner authors. Like, 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 what's going on? Like, Tim Noakes, go to a marathon, and when you see someone running out of glycogen, aka bonking, instead of giving them a sports drink or a piece of fruit or a, a drink, a sports drink, give them some bacon and eggs. That's going to help their performance, isn't it? Not. Oh my God, Tim Noakes, far out. This is not. This is like crazy, man. This is <laughs> Tim Noakes promoting the pilot primal paleo diet. What next? <laughs> what a fucking load of crap. What a joke. Oh, so that's my thoughts, comments, and criticisms on that one. Posha comments down below. Oh, my God. What is the world coming to? Dr. Atkins died overweight, obese, 258 pounds, riddled with heart disease. How much more evidence do we need? 
Dr. Neil Bernard, lean, fit, healthy. Dr. Graham, lean, hit, fit, healthy. Dr. Esselstein, lean, fit, healthy. Dr. Campbell, lean, fit, healthy. Dr. McDougall, lean, fit, healthy. High carb, low fat, vegan, that's where it's at. Fruit or starch, you choose, you decide. Slap it in your face, eat it down, chow, unlimited calories. Get off the calorie restriction and the Ben and Jerry's binging paleo primal fads. Eat real food. We'll see you soon. Peace.